Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm Technical Editor Jason Lumberg, and in this week's episode, a jet-powered UAV, sensor-swallowing sharks, a touchscreen pizza table, and a guest appearance by some guy named David Manti. I don't know, he's from Wisconsin. So. <laughs> yeah. Predator Sea Avenger is a jet-powered UAV with a firepower range and capabilities to set a new gold standard for unmanned vehicles. Whereas the Predator and Reaper were powered by a primitive turboprop engine with a top speed of 300 miles per hour, the Avenger uses a Pratt & Whitney turbofan engine, and the jet-powered UAV zips along at nearly 500 miles per hour. This unmanned flying instrument of destruction sports advanced weaponry and stealth features normally found in 5th gen aircraft like the F-35 and some cool toys the Joint Strike Fighter wishes it had. Apart from the standard complement of Hellfire missiles, the Avenger will come equipped with the Hellad Solid State Laser Weapon, a 150 kilowatt laser countermeasure system. The Hellads will be able to intercept enemy missiles, rockets, and artillery shells, and an S-shaped exhaust will help to mask its radar and heat signature. But the Avenger's sexiest feature is its range. The jet-powered UAV can roam nearly 1,800 miles away to reach the bad guys. And this will prove especially beneficial if the U.S. pulls out of Afghanistan by year's end. Amongst unmanned systems, the Avenger alone will have the stamina to reach its targets in northwest Pakistan. About 2.2 million species live in the 1,335,000,000 cubic kilometers of water that make up the oceans. It makes sense given that's about 95% of the real estate on the planet. The challenge of researching these animals is it's a difficult environment for a human to survive in for more than a few hours. Needless to say, scientists who wanted to study sharks had to get a little creative. To get a shark's eye view, researchers from the University of Hawaii and the University of Tokyo strapped video cameras to the pectoral fins of sharks and released the sharks. The cameras also contain an accelerometer, a data logging computer, and a VHF transmitter. After a certain amount of time, the cameras self-release and float to the surface to be collected. This is how researchers recently discovered sharks use power swimming more than a gliding motion to get through the ocean. But the researchers decided this information wasn't quite everything they were looking for. So they came up with an idea for feeder tags, which are sensors that are fed to the sharks. Once the sensors are swallowed and moved to the digestive tract, they track ingestion and digestion of whatever is on Jaws' menu that day. The sensors allow researchers to study what the sharks eat, plus where they eat it, and how much they're consuming. The fascinating and disgusting part of the story is since sharks naturally regurgitate indigestible material, after a certain amount of time the sharks, well, return the sensors to the researchers who use the data to study the health of the ocean and the sharks' ecological roles. The researchers also plan to use the sensors on other top ocean predators. As the premier source for news, products, and tools for electronic design engineers, ECN prides itself on its extensive coverage of the most quintessential of consumer dining confections, a Neapolitan treat distilled into its tastiest and most efficient form, pizza. Pizza vending machines, pizza kitchen magnets, pizza MREs, pizza... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. What were, uh, what were we talking about again? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Yes, friends, the new Turbo Ginsu! Oh, it dices, it slices, and yet makes french fries in three different... Whoops! Anyway, Pizza Hut, one of the foremost purveyors of cheesy, gooey, addictive little pieces of flatbread heaven, is introducing a popular consumer technology to its restaurants. Touchscreens! The interactive table, designed in conjunction with Chaotic Moon Studios, lets you create a pizza from start to finish, starting with the sauce, or lack thereof, and adding cheese, mushrooms, pepperoni, and even anchovies. That's your thing. So when can we get this? Soon? Maybe? Hopefully? Please? Soon? I want it? Right now? That's all for this edition of the Engineering Update. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And check out past episodes on ecnmag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Jason Lumberg, and thanks for watching.